Okay, so when I first found out that Bikinis was doing a calendar, I thought that it would be freaking badass, honestly, to be in the calendar. So we had to send in pictures, and luckily I had a friend, Tyler, who does um, photography on the side. So not only did I give him a chance to, you know, help out his album, I, you know, had someone that kind of knew what they were doing to take my pictures, and then. So I made the cut for the calendar and I was really nervous because I don't feel like I'm very photogenic and I knew that I need to start working out and watching what I eat, peanut butter and then it's definitely more on my diet. So um, basically I got with my friend Brett Hickey and he got me on a strict diet and a workout plan with supplements and stuff and uh, I worked out a lot and I ate chicken and spinach and V8. Yeah, so my diet was very, very strict. I was not used to that. And, um, however, it's funny though, the night before my photo shoot was my birthday, and he saw me at the bar drinking whiskey, and he was very, very upset with me, because he was trying to, uh, like, kind of dehydrate my body, and so, yeah, he wasn't happy, but I told him that after the calendar comes out, you know, he'll probably, uh, think that I did okay. So system software for high-tech from down the valley, she wrote him a letter. Something like this. She said, A oh, big dreams, a oh, big dreams, don't you know? It's so hard to make these big dreams come true. Well, I tried to hold on to what we had the best I could. Well, I find that holding on is the hardest thing to do. Oh, I ain't coming home. Like I said, since mine don't sit where they're supposed to all the time, I need a little extra support. And I knew that I was going to have to order my own swimsuit. Well, I found this one that was really hot. When it came in, it didn't fit so well. And it came in the day before my photo shoot. So I'm like scrambling around, running all these stores, trying to find stuff. And it's the end of the summer, almost fall already. And so, luckily, my friend Tara had this really cute Ed Hardy one, which I believe is going to be in the calendar, it's going to show it, but it ended up being perfect for motocross, it has a skull on it. I remember everybody's name that I've ever met before in my life, so I said, and I'm everybody in your first grade class, dear, yes, I never imagine all those names, I stretched out forever, like the rays of light, from some lonely distant star. Thought to myself, what have I done with this life of mine? Besides finding myself in a smoke filled bar, I said, Oh, I ain't coming home tonight. So don't wait up for me. No, I ain't coming home. They're asking if I would mind doing some topless shoots. Well, not like topless, you know, like holding my own stuff. And um, that was kind of complicated all on its own because um, I have bigger breasts, I guess you could say, and they're real. <laughs> so mine don't just like sit where you want them to. And so I'm sitting here trying to like, we're out in this open, you know, motocross park and I'm like, trying to adjust my stuff, you know? <laughs> and then Garrett's got the camera like right there. So I'm trying not to like give a peep show. And so when we started doing those shoots, I really don't think he minded holding up the umbrella and the shader. So it's kind of interesting. But um, it definitely helped out a lot that, you know, he was out there helping us out and I had the other girls. And I stayed after for Brittany's shoot too to help her out. So it was just a lot of teamwork, but it was a lot of fun. And I'm really glad that I was able to do motocross. Like I said, you know, my Uncle Jerry is a motocrosser and he's worked ever since I was real little. I remember going out to the shop, you know, at our uh, construction, the office or whatever, and he had all of his old, you know, trophies and stuff. So me and my cousins would go out there and pick out our trophies and cut them off, you know, and everything. And he uh, still does motocross, he races. And uh, so I guess I'd have to say that my Uncle Jerry is probably my favorite motocross guy.
And um, but definitely doing all that stuff, it made me want to learn how to do motocross. Like I would be very interested in going out and taking some lessons and stuff, which Del Valley they do give lessons if you know you're interested. And um, but it just looks like a lot of fun.